Hi, welcome to Naked Man Blogging, Volume 8, uh, June 8, 2008, and I'm your host, Naked Man Blogging, and trust me, I am butt naked. It's comfortable. Uh, I beat it, but my mind is anything but naked. And I wanted to try to do something a little lighter that was a little shorter in length, and I uh, decided to talk about our collective mental issues. And people, if you're here, you probably have an issue. I have an issue. I'm blogging naked. I'm laying my stuff out here naked, and trust me, if I stood up and spun around, I'd have to put one of those little fuzzy things uh, over uh, some part of the video. Because, one, I need to be naked for my theme, and two, it is 95 outside today, and I refuse to use my air conditioning because Amron and UE are a bunch of criminal thugs, and I want to give them as little, the least amount of money possible. But, it, but you know, we all have issues. I've um, come to the conclusion that most people over 40 have some kind of an issue going on, whether it's managed or not, they have an issue. And I'll just get myself in trouble right now. I think there are more nutty women than nutty men. And I think that is because men are so hard on women. And uh, it's probably going to get me in trouble, but I think um, statistically it might bear itself out in how many prescriptions are written um, based on gender. Now, ladies, before you come out here and hate me, or hate on me, as they would say, I'll admit that I have issues. My main issue probably is paranoia. Not probably, okay, I tend to be a tad paranoid. I'm the guy that uh, can be extremely paranoid, for a lack of a better term, at times. You know what? Uh, I don't like it very, very dark outside unless I have uh, something that's better in the dark than me. I really liked having my dogs when I lived out in the woods because when I'm walking down a completely dark, dark, dark place uh, in the backwoods, my dogs always knew if something alive was within uh, my sphere of influence. And in that case, I was always aware of my surroundings. Uh, I would always tell people, the dogs are to alert me. The Magnum, Dan Wesson, is to make sure that I have a defense against any uh, thing I was alerted to, and that has something to do with probably, not probably, okay, I admit it, I am slightly paranoid, but I will not ever sign up for a psychiatrist or psychologist because those guys are more nuts than the people they try to cure. I think psychiatrists and psychologists are the greatest enablers of insanity that the world has ever created. And, you know, you can go back and look at the people like, uh, you know, Sigmund Freud. I mean, the guy was an over-the-top cocaine addict that wrote some stuff that was sheer lunacy. And then there's 10% of it that makes any sense. Well, if this guy is brilliantly a lunatic and a drug addict, uh, I think that an average citizen can admit to some issues. And if they can manage it and proceed on in life without having to take a pill, more power to you. And that's where I'm at. So I'll be damned if I'm ever going to uh, uh, ever function um, with the help of a, of a so-called professional. Now, it has being uh, a, basically somebody who's slightly paranoid, has being that in, interfered with how I have progressed in my life? Absolutely. I think that uh, between that and certain substances that I might have consumed in my younger days, I think those have conspired and which really calling them the conspiracy, really, I have conspired with those substances and my slight paranoia to probably not take chances that I normally would have taken if I had been unencumbered by um, basically um, substances and a state of mind. But the point I'm trying to make is that even if you're fully blown nuts, um, if you look within yourself and you work at looking at what you're doing, and I don't mean to have a conversation with yourself, because then you are truly nuts. But, but in essence, have a conversation with yourself. Boy, I, just, uh, I think I just enabled you to be more nutty, or just like me. But basically, review yourself. I mean, just like your boss takes you and sits you down every year and talks about how you have done and where you need to be, if you did that to yourself, you would be less nuts. And I guarantee you, we're all nuts to a certain extent. It's just how we manage the nuts, nuttiness. And if we can manage it without a pill, you will survive better than the guy that has to take, or gal, that has to take a bottle full of pills just to maintain an equilibrium. Because I have seen too many people start on the pills and never, ever, ever get off. Now, they weren't nuts before, 
But man, after they talk to the doctor, they surely seem nuts afterwards. What is nutty about you? You can write me at nakedmanblogging at gmail.com. I am out of here.